It has become a grim routine, attacks and explosions while the city sleeps, followed by disbelief and anxiety. Survivors wondering how they escaped the ferocity of a missile lobbed from afar on their homes. Marat can't contain his anger. Europe sold us out. Americans are b Don't cut me out. We asked them to close the sky, but they didn't. Why, traitors? To protect their children? I'm going to appeal directly to the other b Do you understand who I'm talking about, you son of a b I would tear you apart with my own hands. There are few people left in Mykolaiv. A few weeks ago, there were nearly half a million. Those still here have to rely on handouts as there's no more drinkable water. With the economy at a standstill, people are selling whatever they own to pay his utility bill, he tells us, even though there are no buyers. The Russians had actually reached this point on the outskirts of Mykolaiv in the early stages of the war before being pushed back. But now, with Mariupol and the Kherson region effectively under Russian control, there is concern that they could be preparing for a counter-offensive. That might be why people are not returning to the town of Bashtanka yet. It was recaptured about a month ago. It just looks like every town, village or city the Russians occupied. Okay. Olena remembers the night it all started. Her house was among the first hit. Parachute bombs fell from the sky, leaving a huge crater. These are the straps, and the parachute's canopy has now been recycled. The Ukrainian army says it's on the offensive in the south. The moral of the enemy is low and they are not advancing on the ground because they can't break our lines. The sanctions are having an impact. They can't produce certain weapons anymore. But one of the Russian advantages is their artillery systems. Their range is longer than ours and can hit us hard. Russia also holds the upper hand when it comes to attacks from the sky. And each night, the people of Mykolaiv wonder whose turn will it be next. Hadab Hamid, Al Jazeera, Mikolaev.